The bed dates back to 1861. Bought by Mary Todd Lincoln as part of her White House refurbishing, it's eight feet long, six feet wide, made of carved rosewood. Mary Todd Lincoln had draped the Lincoln bed with the purple and gold and fringe and lace, really high Victorian decorating. And we did have later photographs, not contemporary with Lincoln, but uh, the bed still dressed the way she had dressed it. And so we did that again. It is this bed, bought by Mary Lincoln and probably the most well-known piece of historic furniture in the house, that holds the key to understanding the Lincoln family's time here. The famous bed that was one of Mary Lincoln's many extravagant purchases as she began a campaign when she got here to redecorate this entire building. They held the bill back forever so Lincoln wouldn't see it because she spent so much money and he saw it and he flew into a rage and said it would stink in the nostrils of the American people. While our soldiers needed blankets, she was buying flub dubs for that damned old house. The epical thing about this bed is that it is where in February 1862, Lincoln's middle son, Willie, died after a bout with uh, typhoid fever. After that, Mary would never go into Willie's room again. She never looked at the bed again. She never was able to absorb the son's death, Willie's death in the White House. And Lincoln finally said to her once, he took her to the window and he let her look across the river at St. Elizabeth's, the mental hospital. And he said, Mother, if you don't get a hold of yourself, you're going to have to be put there. You know, now's the time to, to absorb it. The president, by contrast, would hole up in Willie's room, often on a Thursday, which is the day of the week he died, just to grieve. How the Lincolns handled their grief goes to how we see them today. In the case of Mary, it really unhinged her. It was the final blow.